Hi, this is Marty, and welcome back for another video. So, um, as you know, uh, on Reddit, my name is Marty Glenn underscore com, and I got a really nice compliment um, on my uh, post or my video on the planting of the oak seed tree because there was someone who asked a question, and then basically it was, how do you know when your marriage is over? And I basically responded with, well, you just planted the seed. Because when you ask, how do I know it's over, the seed has either already been planted by you or been planted by someone else, or I mean your significant other, okay? So the compliment basically was, um, you know, really nice. Just, I watched your video and, and it, you know, really opened my eyes. So I basically told this individual because he asked me, you know, what do I do now? And he's married for, I think, six years. And I'm going to assume all the above, kids and, and all that stuff. Okay, so, and I'm going to basically say what to do because he's heard the words, um, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is this. I want you to go to a website called Divorce Busting. Okay, DivorceBusting.com. And it should still be there. Okay, so um, I want you to go and search and join this, and I want you to search, and then I want you to look for this username. Okay? Um, that was my username when, and it's interesting I put this out there. Um, I have nothing to hide. Really, I just, I have nothing to hide. I'm just too old, and I'm 49. <laughs> I'm too old, and I'm just too tired, and just too transparent. I just don't give a shit anymore, <laughs> okay? I just I just want to be me, okay? Um, so I want you to read some of that, okay? Because I was on there for a very, very long time, and I became an expert in what divorcing, divorce busting is all about. And basically, when you hear the words, I love you, but I'm not in love with you, basically what that means is your wife or husband planted a seed and you just, an oak tree seed, and you just kept watering it with the same old actions and you didn't listen and you didn't change. And, and again, what we're talking about here is we're talking about a normal marriage. We're not talking about one that's got alcoholism in it or drugs and stuff like that. Because once you enter those, you know, once you enter those things into the equation, it just becomes very, very complicated. And uh, my marriage had money problems. Um, I was very high on the narcissistic scale. Uh, you know, and I've talked about the other videos. So try to understand that this particular video is to help someone who wants to understand the words, I love you, but I'm not in love with you anymore. And I did a video on that and I'll post it to the end of this one so you can go back and watch that one. But I was asked for specific advice on what he can do or what can I do now that I've heard those words and wait for it. There's nothing you can do, but here's what you can do. Write down all the things that you did in the marriage, and I mean sit down and write it all down that you wish you could have been diff done different, and if you know Excel, Okay, in a in a column is going to be. Watch. Write down all the things you did. In column A, just type. And then in column B, write down why. So this is what you did. Why you did it. Then I want you to, in this one here, in C1, oh, what, what you did, why you did it, and the outcome. And then guess, you guessed it, what's D? What you wish you could have done differently. E, why didn't you choose that in the, in, in the first place? So, what did you do? Why did you do it? What was the outcome today, as you can look back on 2020 vision in the past? What do you wish you would have done differently? Okay, so this is connected to here. Okay, why didn't you do this? 
Okay, brings me to number three. I'm betting that if I draw a line to three, Now I'm kidding. No, I'm joking, right? But I'll bet you the why you didn't do that in here is because you just sucked, just like I did. I just sucked. I just sucked. There were so many things that I didn't know about me and what I wanted in my life and who I was as a person, and I didn't give a shit to even ask myself. So everything I was doing and what I was doing was all about what I thought was my role, what I wanted. I never even thought in my marriage that, well, wait a second, and watch one of my, a video I just posted, okay? Um, and is it in the, in the video, um, Planting of the Seed? Oh, no, no, it's in there. Watch the video. Um, I'll post it on the end of this video. Watch the video about um, the recession, the, the, the balance sheet recession. No, I'm sorry, divorce. Watch what happened. You want to know what marriage is like? Watch what divorce. I just sucked. I, I didn't realize that that when I got married, it was it was me, Stacy, us. The house was us. The kids was us. The front yard, water in the front yard, taking out the garbage, the money that I made, the bank account. It was us. And at that time, it was all me, I thought. And then whatever I felt like doing for Stacy, or my home, or whatever, that's what I did. And when I asked myself why, well, why I did it, and why I didn't do it here, and what I wish I could have done differently, I wish everything that I did was based from the standpoint of us. I didn't understand that that's what marriage was was. So in 17 years, because I've been divorced for 17 years, in 17 years, what do I have now? I have a name, another name, another name, and another name of four women. Past the, in the 17 years, past my marriage, guess where I finally realized where the us is? Right there. And where am I today? Right there. I burned through all of these women. Oh, and the lines are just, <laughs> you know. I was married for 18. I was married for 13 years with her for 18. Solid. No infidelity. No nothing. Just, I did not understand the us. And if you watch uh, Father's Confessions, uh, you'll be able to see um, my true confessions on the things and my apologies that, that I mean, straight up for my kids and Stacy, uh, you know, and, and I'm not going to get too much into this because I want to get back to this. But when you hear the words, I love you, but I'm not in love with you, there's nothing more for you to do but to do this. Stop chasing. Uh, Follow the advice on divorce busting. Um, what it is, is, it, is, is it's basic, di divorce busting is basically this in a non-mathematical Excel document way. Basically, divorce busting talks about do for yourself and think about yourself and care for yourself and go to the gym. And that was so offensive to me. At the time, it's not anymore, but it was. It was like, I don't want to work on my, what do you want me to work on me? It's like, I can be better in what? Just, <laughs> no. Write down what you did. Write down why. What was the outcome? What would you like to do differently? And ask yourself, ask your inner child, ask your inner self why you did not do that. When you connect why you didn't do it, okay, to you suck, when you make that connection, doing nothing and standing by your marriage will become so galactically easy. It's not even funny because you will surrender to 
there is nothing that I can do. Now, there is one thing that, that um, I, I did, okay, um, um, but just to give you a little point, uh, Stacy left our home three times and filed for divorce on me twice. That's a discussion I think I've talked about. It's not, but what I want you to, what I, what I want anyone who's watching this to understand is that I don't falter for any of it. Um, I think some of it was wrong, but um, what I want to say is, during the six month in California when you file for divorce, um, I didn't date. I didn't. Um, I was with one woman since I was the age of 23 years old and I was 35, uh, again, with her for 18, married for 13, and I did not want to tarnish that. I, I, that was extremely valuable to me. And um, take that for what it's worth. I think it's a little bit of a white knight thing, you know, but I think it was the right thing to do and I would recommend it to even my own children so I would recommend it to anyone watching this video. Stay true to the marriage, but if it reaches a certain point where your significant other is going to date, that is the best thing that they could do. And, and it hurts like hell. Oh, it does. It hurts. And, and oh man, does it hurt. But you should do the same thing. And the reason why you should do the same thing and mirror them, mirror them and their actions. And I've done videos on mirroring and talking and you should watch those as well. But when you hear those words, I love you, but I'm not in love with you, mirror what they do and prepare to do nothing. And don't let them know that you're doing this. When you read Divorce Busting, and I've read the book, studied it, like I said, you go on Shark, Shark, watch Shark username, and you can actually see what I actually wrote in the mind frame that I was in. Um, this is all about you now. And... Yeah, this is a huge topic. Uh, you know, I, 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 I think I hope I've helped. Um, and this is a, a great Excel document. Uh, set it up in Excel uh, and, uh, you know, hopefully it'll be a wide monitor because, you know, this stuff or collapse everything. You know what I mean? Collapse everything. So it's the same grouping, you know, so it's so it's not like this one's long and you can't read everything. So you get the point. All right. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, uh, those dreaded words. I love you, but I'm not in love with you. Um, I would like to say this. Um, your significant other, when you hear those words, they do love you. They're just so beat down. Uh, they're, just, they're just so tired. You have to accept responsibility for the things that you've done and the mistakes that you've made. And I think something that's really important is understanding that you're human, forgiving yourself for those mistakes and really looking in the mirror and really forgiving yourself. And the best thing that you can do is, especially if there's children, is to understand all of this, fix this to the best of your ability, and do right by your children, do right by your significant other, because they're going to be with you for the rest of your life, especially if you have children, the rest of your life. And remember that there will be this. And I hope that it doesn't take you three or four more to get it right. I had a lot of issues, and I think if you look at my videos, you'll see some of the issues I had with regards to my family and my mom and my stepdad, and, and, and I think that's why it took me. But but in this period of time here, it was, it was through here and then straight through there. Like right about there, I started to turn that corner with personal development. And um, yeah, so I hope I didn't go too far off topic there. But I hope this helps. And, uh, you know, in the comments, if there's anything else that you want me to give my advice on, anything like that, more than happy to. It's great content. I think a lot of people uh, would really like to hear it even though I only have 21 or 20 subscribers, but it's all good. Um, I do this for myself, and it really helps me understand myself, my current relationships and friendships better. And um, so thanks for the, uh, the compliment. Thanks for the question, and I hope this helps again. And best of luck. We'll see you uh, in the next video.